Hello, Colts Nation, and what's up, No Horse and Family? Welcome back to another episode of the No Horsing Around Podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. And also, as always, No Horsing Around is brought to you exclusively by our amazing sponsor, Wager Wire. As you all know by now, Wager Wire is a revolutionary app that's going to change sports betting forever. You can get in and out of all your future bets all season long one of the coolest features is that you can cash in on parlays so if you have a two-team parlay three-team parlay four-team single game parlays you can cash in on them before maybe one of them doesn't hit not many other places are going to allow you to do that right it's it's just an amazing thing you can trade on the game lines all the way up to the moment the game starts as well check them out over at wager wire on twitter And then if you're really interested, make sure you go over to wagerwire.com, drop your email into the spot. They'll alert you when this app is ready to drop, which is very, very soon. We're really excited about it. Okay, you guys, we're going to continue on with our coaching candidates, right? I'm not going to lie. Like I, when I started this series, when me and Zach talked about doing it and just kind of giving like a little dive into the different coaching candidates never in my wildest dreams would I thought that it would have ended up at 11 and 12 just really didn't think so thought it might be like five or six maybe eight 12 was a lot still is a lot um so today we're gonna go with one of the newest ones that they've requested Brian Callahan the offensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals So I'm going to tell you guys, like, it's a name that I've heard. It's a name that I floated out that I thought they might look into. I've tweeted out, you know, a list going into this week of people coming out of Wild Card Weekend that they could be interested in. Mike Kafka was one. We all knew D'Amico Ryans was another. And I believe I mentioned Brian Callahan. You guys can go check my tweets and see if I said it as a name that would be interesting. Didn't really think anything of it, especially when we got to Thursday and we hadn't really heard anything, right? So I had to do a little bit more research when it came out that they had requested an interview. We don't know when he's going to actually interview. You know, there's could be maybe tomorrow. You're probably possibly looking at the beginning of next week because they still have Dan Quinn. They still have D'Amico Ryans. They, they've scheduled Mike Kafka and Wink Martindale. This would be the last. This would be number five. Uh, obviously, as a recording of this, Jeff Saturday completed his. So let's do a little bit of a deep dive. Who is Brian Callahan? Okay. Let's trace it back. First of all, he's one of the younger candidates. I made a joke and said he's replaced Ben Johnson, I think, as the young one of the youngest candidates that they're looking at. He's 38. So he kind of comes from that whiz kid persona. But I didn't know a lot about him. I knew he had done really well in Cincinnati with Joe Burrow uh, and underneath Zach Taylor, but I didn't know a lot. So like everything else in the series, I've gotten to kind of do a little bit of deep dive, and I've come away extremely impressed. Uh, impressed enough that he's probably moved up on my list of candidates that I like. He might even be the top offensive-minded coach on my list after this. So let's trace this back. He got into coaching in Denver. When? Oh, oh, it was with Peyton Manning. He worked with Peyton Manning. He worked under Gary Kubiak. Gary Kubiak? Won a Super Bowl there with Peyton. Uh, Great offensive mind. We saw what he did in Houston for a long time as the coach. Not a bad guy to work under. So he's with him for a little while. He leaves. He goes over to Detroit. Oh, you know, Detroit under Jim Caldwell. We all know how Jim Caldwell did while he was there. I believe he had two winning seasons and a playoff appearance. Really odd. And he worked with Matthew Stafford. Okay, so that's two different kinds of quarterbacks now we're looking at, right? He worked with an aging Peyton Manning, and he worked with a young pocket, semi-mobile, rocket-arm quarterback in Matthew Stafford. He worked with a very outgoing Gary Kubiak and a very calm demeanor of Jim Caldwell, who we all know and love because of his time with the Colts. After he worked there, he left. He went to the Raiders, the Oakland Raiders, and he worked under John Gruden and worked with Derek Carr. Like, so now you've got Peyton Manning, Matthew Stafford, Derek Carr. Then he ends up going to Cincinnati, 
not really, from what I can gather, really no connection with Zach Taylor. Makes Zach Taylor makes him his offensive coordinator when he goes to Cincinnati. He works with Andy Dalton the first year. Then he gets a hold of Joe Burrow. And Joe Burrow has been doing fantastic, obviously, the last two seasons. Uh, man, the guy's really worked with some quarterbacks. <laughs> Young quarterbacks, old quarterbacks, mobile quarterbacks. I mean, it, I came away looking at this, and I was like, damn. Like, I'm actually impressed with this guy's resume. Uh, uh, he He's moved up the list very quickly for me. I'm excited to see how he interviews, see what that looks like. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do y'all think? This is a brand new one. We kind of thought they might look at him. But what do you guys think, especially after what I've told you of who he's worked with? You know, what minds he's gotten to work under and pick. You know, Gary Kubiak, John Gruden, Jim Caldwell, Zach Taylor. And then you look at the quarterbacks just across the board. I mean, it's it's impressive. Uh, I, I have to admit, I even told Zach, I said, geez, I, I think he's moved up. Like, he might be my number two, depending on how he interviews. My number one, as you guys know, I mean, it's Raheem Morris, but... He's up there now, man. So tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, comment, comment. I want to make sure I'm hearing from you guys. I'm trying to do a much better job. We get so many comments all the time now. I'm trying to do a better job of responding to when you guys ask questions or you guys have things that you guys want to know. Uh, yeah, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of this? Is this a candidate you like? Is it a candidate you don't like? Tell me. Tell us. And as always, you guys, I love you. I know Zach loves you. Go Colts. I'm out.